A team of Burmese media delegation interrogated the Rohingyas sheltering at the Zero Point area on 17th November 2018. A solo team of Burmese media, excluding the international media, arrived at the Zero Point area at around 11 a.m. and they interrogated the Rohingyas. In the interrogation, they asked about the demands Rohingyas have before they can return to their land Arakan, Burma. In answer to those questions, a Rohingya representative named as Dil Muhammad said, firstly, they want justice for all genocidal crimes of the Burmese government forces. Secondly, he said, they wish to return to their original place after getting compensation of their lost homes and properties. And at the end, he stressed about the citizenship along with Rohingya's native status. The media delegation included almost all newspapers, magazines and news channels except the government channels. Since late 2017, almost 6,000 Rohingyas are sheltering at Zero Point area and are waiting badly to return home soon after getting all their deserved rights. Five innocent Rohingyas were shot at an internally displaced people's camp, IDP, in Akyab by Burmese police, leaving two Rohingyas in critical condition, while arresting two other Rohingyas on 18th November 2018. At early in the morning, a group of police arrived at the Arnauk Yi IDP camp and arrested two Rohingyas by accusing them to be involved in a human trafficking case, a water vessel that was caught by Burmese officials in Yangon on Friday. The two arrested victim was identified identified to be Abu Sayyad, son of Nur Alam, 35, and Sadiq, son of Islam, 37, hailing from the same camp. Initially, when victims were arrested, other Rohingyas from the area tried to stop this arbitrary arrest. To avoid any inconvenience, the area supervisors stopped the Rohingyas to do so. Later, while going out of the camp, Burmese police randomly fired at the civilians working at the field, where five Rohingyas were shot. Among the five shot Rohingyas, two are heard to be fighting with life and death, and for other three, a hope of survival is still there. Among the victims, one was identified and is named to be Sodo Rahman, son of Abdul Rahman, 22, from who hails from the nearby Mayur Kul area. Further details of the victims and the current situation of the camp could not be heard yet. Since 2012, tens of thousands of Rohingyas were forced out of their own villages towards these concentration camps, where they are denied from all basic human rights, including freedom of movement, health care, and education. There are nearly 8,000 Rohingyas staying in Jammu, Samba and Kathwa districts of Jammu region with nearly 90% of them settled in Jammu city and outskirts. The Jammu and Kashmir police has started collecting personal details of all Rohingyas living in the state to identify how, from where and when they came to India and travelled further on to Jammu and Kashmir. Inspector General of Police Jammu Zone S.D. Singh Jamwal said, This is being done on instructions from the central government to identify these people and maintain records. Asked where whether it has to do something with their deportation, Jamal said, it may be a process for that. Written in Burmese language with English translations, these personal date forms were circulated by the police in some Rohingya settlements in Jammu city on Sunday as well. Each settler from Burma has been asked to fill up these forms, furnishing personal details of not only self but of parents, spouse and siblings too. The UN has called for calm after several Rohingya Muslims were shot and wounded in an Arakan state camp in a raid linked to the failed escape of more than 100 of Rohingyas from the grim settlements. Some 120,000 Rohingyas have languished in displacement camps near Arakan state capital, Akyap, since riots in 2012. Their movement access to healthcare, work and education is severely restricted in conditions described as amounting to apartheid by Amnesty International. Villagers said that four Rohingyas Rohingyas were shot and wounded as Myanmar police entered the Aknao Yi camp in central Arakan state, Paktao Township, Sunday morning. In an email statement, Nut Ostbi, head of the UN office in Myanmar, called for calm, non-violence and restraint in an area which can be accessed only with the official permission, but is believed to suffer from some of the worst conditions in the displacement camps. One witness said that officers were trying to arrest two Rohingyas suspected of links with a boat carrying 100 
106 Rohingyas that was found last week off the coast of Burma's biggest city, Yangon. The discovery fueled speculation of a fresh exodus of Rohingyas by boat. The group who told reporters they were trying to reach Malaysia were taken back to Arakan on Sunday by Myanmar's Navy. Noor Hakim, an Anau Yi resident, said that the trouble started on Sunday soon after 20 police arrived and crowds gathered. I'm not sure where the police shot, but four people got injured and among them, one seriously, he said. More than 4,000 people lived in Aknau Yi. The NGO Solidarities International described it last year as a natural environment unsuitable to human settlement, citing water shortages, hostile host communities, lack of proper shelter and toilets. For years, Rohingyas have fled persecution in Burma by boat, usually starting around this time of year when the monsoon season ends. But a crackdown on sea trafficking in 2015 closed the route. The 720,000 Rohingyas living in crowded camps in Bangladesh were last week supposed to begin the complex and controversial process of returning to Burma. But they did not leave Bangladesh after an outcry that conditions in northern Arakan were still dangerous. The UN says Myanmar's generals should be persecuted for genocide in connection with the army campaign that expelled the Rohingyas.